Hi, this is Shadi and today we will go to the gym and discuss the different approach between your classical bodybuilder and your highest level of judoka. So uh, recently, about two months ago, I did a video about how in the past they worked on their agility and their flexibility and mobility through different exercises such as the cartwheels, the jumps and exercises. Uh, together like lifting each other and walking and of course you're lifting like Ono in today's age and a lot of people uh, said that I was against lifting and I was against strength and that's not really true um, I was talking about how to get you know more agility more uh, velocity rather than just building sheer brute strength and they were telling me do you even lift bro and you don't understand lifting and that's not really true i've done it all i've done the bulking and the cutting the heavy deadlift sessions um, eating tons of calories uh, lifting just really heavy one to five reps but i was talking mainly about how to increase momentum, focusing on technique and entering really quickly rather than just lifting heavy and becoming just bulky. So what we will look at as for the bodybuilder is Jeremy Buendia's bulk or off-season lifting split and routine. So here is a uh, split like your typical what we call bro split, five day split, isolating each muscle and hammering down the um, sets and reps and the volume. I understand there is uh, many more splits like push-pull split um, and also upper body but your highest level um, bodybuilder like IFBB Pro caliber will usually go for this type of split. Now you can pause this and you can check out this is like the two-third uh, of the uh, chest exercises. Um, you can see that there's a lot of sets, a lot of reps, uh, increasing the weight with each uh, set. Uh, you start with the um, like the compound movement and then tapering into isolation movements and really going for the pump and uh, working strength in the beginning. Uh, a lot of them are really strong. Now, obviously, the amount of calories they're eating in the off season and the PEDs will obviously help them. So when it comes to Japanese judokas, the legs are the absolute foundation. I've inquired several Japanese judokas uh, for their approach and mainly it's compound movement, uh, particularly for the legs. The legs are the foundation and of course upper body uh, compound movements. So here you can see uh, Ono and Mariyama truly uh, work in this particular sense. Now, the first one is your obvious is the squats to build really strong legs. Um, they work in three to five sets of uh, eight to ten reps. And I really like the eight to ten rep uh, rep range because it will work both strength and hypertrophy. The second exercise is a very important one, uh, especially for the Kuzushi, and that is either power cleans and hang cleans. Um, you have this uh, explosion upwards with your traps, your arms, and your legs, which will increase uh, the momentum in the throw or the velocity, not just the mass in your shoulders, your arms and legs, but will also increase the velocity when you are entering in for a throw like Harai Goshi or Uchimata. So hand cleans and power cleans are also a staple of Japanese uh, judokas. Um, this is what I'm talking about exactly. You see here this pull as you are going in for Kuzushi for Uchimata or Harai Goshi. Uh, look at how he's using his traps, his arms and shoulders. And of course, you have the leg that's shooting upwards. So uh, an important exercise like power clean and hand cleans are crucial for Japanese uh, judokas. The next one is, of course, you know, pulling. You need to have a good pull, not just through the cleans. So any type of uh, neutral grip, pull up, chin up, uh, with the weights here, you can see Takeshi Sasaki with the belt. Uh, you can progressively overload the weights. Uh, and of course, if you are working from home, something like um, one arm chin up, one arm pull up, any type of grip, over grip, under grip, uh, neutral grip is also um, very 
important. You will have tons of strength in your arm, like the grip, and of course your back uh, muscle, because uh, you need this for any type. If you're doing kumikata, you're uh, pulling, pushing, even for BJJ, you need to have a strong uh, back, um, which will prevent also a lot of injuries, particularly uh, if you have if you flex your lower back, to, which will which brings me to my next exercise, and that is the rowing, and not the deadlift. Uh, Robert Oberst, a strong man, who says that if you're not competing in deadlift, there's really not much to gain from it. I personally prefer uh, much rowing, elastic bands, or dumbbells, or cable, or uh, any type of rowing will really make the back a lot stronger uh, than a deadlift. That's my opinion. Again, um, and finally, a pressing movement um, like the bench press, three sets of eight to ten reps, or if you are working out from home, progress into a one arm chin up. This is me doing a one arm chin up. People asked me if I could do it last time, and yes, I can. Three to five reps per arm. Um, this will also create a strong pressing uh, movement for your chest and it will make you incredibly strong. And finally, as grapplers, wrestlers, judokas, BJJ or jujitsu, injuries are an everyday thing. And um, I highly recommend you look into knees over toes guy. He has a very... Uh, I would say simple philosophy, but it can be complex. And that is, you know, use the joint in its full range of motion. And that will really l make it flexible, supple and stronger. So here you saw the tibialis raise he was doing before, which is a very neglected muscle group and it will pr um, protect your knee. The next one here is the HEG split squat. So you can see here that the tendons and ligaments in a particular joint like the ankle and the knee, it's working uh, incredibly. So which will, uh, uh, I would say, trigger the body to make more synovial fluid into the joints to lubricate it to keep it strong and supple and thus increasing the longevity when i sprained my mcl in the summer this particular exercise really helped me heal far quicker and of course tons of calf raises tibialis raises i strongly suggest you incorporate some of his exercises or the main exercises into your workout to really uh make your knees and ankles much stronger even your shoulders so uh, if you have anything else to add let me know down below uh, also consider supporting me on patreon i post there once a week i recently did a mini documentary on cause in a way so let me know how you lift uh, and prevent your injuries down below as a grappler or fighter this was shady and as always thank you for listening